Nola Judd here at Gonzo's Smokehouse. Amazing barbecue in here, yeah! Welcome to Nola Judd. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Travel Vlog, it's time for you to eat with me, Louisiana Barbecue, at Gonzo's Smokehouse and Barbecue, which is the best Louisiana barbecue I've ever had. Gonzo Smokehouse and Barbecue is located on the west bank of the Mississippi River in Luling, Louisiana at 12325 River Road, which is about 32 minutes and 27 miles away from the French Quarter. Gonzo specializes in Central Texas style barbecue, which is one of my favorite types of barbecue. This is some of the top food Louisiana offers in the barbecue category. In my opinion, this is the best barbecue restaurant in the New Orleans area, and there's always a line of folks waiting to get inside here. But the bad news is they're only open for lunch and only on Fridays. I've heard a lot of fantastic things about this place, but this is my first visit here, and I'm really excited because it smells amazing. And Central Texas Barbecue is definitely one of my favorite styles and I've eaten at many of the top places in Austin, Texas and all around the hill country, so I'm ready to dig in. And I'm even tempted to get some of their memorabilia here, but I haven't yet, so I'm going to have to make a second trip maybe to do a little more shopping at some point. And here's all the to-go orders they have waiting for people, so wow, they're doing quite a carry-out business. And there's a line of folks outside and inside, so they only about five people in at a time to wait in the inside line while the outside line keeps growing. And once they get to the last person of those five, they let five more people inside. So, I was one of the first people in line, so I'm glad to be able to get in here before it gets too busy. And this place isn't that big, but it really is a very popular place in the area and I'm glad that I'm getting a seat because hey I would be really upset if I wasn't able to sit down and enjoy my meat immediately and I'm starving and ready to dig in now on their menu here they don't have a whole lot of options but they have some delicious options so we have meats by the pound with prime grade brisket pulled pork pork belly burnt ends they're sold out of beef ribs brisket boudin, turkey drumette. Then they have sandwiches with uh, Franklin, which is all natural prime grade chopped brisket. The notorious pig, which is all natural Duroc Yorkshire pulled pork shoulder. Then the real baconator, all natural Duroc Yorkshire pork belly burnt ends. And the El Jefe, the boss of all sandwiches, smoked brisket, pulled pork, and pork belly burnt ends. And for sides, we have broccoli burnt ends. We have chorizo mac and cheese corn grits with gouda, and barbacoa dirty rice. So I got a half pound of brisket, a turkey drumette, and the broccoli for my side. The total was $30.94, which included a bottled water and tip. The price is on the expensive side, but oh, the meat smells amazing. There's a wonderful smoky aroma just permeating everything around me right now. And I can't wait to dig in. I got the mustard sauce and the regular barbecue sauce to try out as well. I'm going to start out with this brisket as it looks so pretty and the smoky aroma coming off of it is so amazing. So, ooh, look how beautiful this meat is. I'm going to try the regular barbecue sauce with it first and hmm, oh, oh, oh. I would say that is perfectly cooked. The sauce goes really well with it. Now let's uh, sample this mustard sauce. Oh my goodness. Ooh. And oh yes, this is also another great sauce and meat combination. It is perfectly cooked here. So I would say this barbecue brisket could go up against the uh, very famous places and Austin, Texas and the rest of the hill country and do very well. So, oh, it could definitely 
do a head-to-head -head throwdown, and any given day, they could come out on top as they have perfected their Central Texas style of beef brisket barbecue here. Oh, yes. Now we're going to get all the combo of sauces on here and really dig in and get some uh, full-on chow down time and see if the flavors maintain what we started out with. But wow, look how wonderfully beautiful this looks. And it tastes just as good as it looks and even better than it looks. Oh, it's so good. It just has such a great explosion of flavors on my mouth. I'm just so happy with this flavor. And I can honestly say this is the best barbecue brisket that I've had anywhere in Louisiana and it's fantastic so this definitely is getting my top marks for all of louisiana barbecue now and i would definitely rate it as the reigning champion of the brisket in all of the state of louisiana although i haven't eaten at every barbecue restaurant in louisiana i have eaten at nearly all of the top ranked ones that all the folks say are the best of the best and I would say Gonzo's is still the top dog out of all of them. This can definitely stand up to the best of the best brisket I've ever had, I would say. They've done an excellent job with this. We're going to try out this broccoli because you need to make sure to eat five to seven different fruits and vegetables daily. Ah, uh, this broccoli's got a nice sauce on it. It still pretty much tastes like broccoli. I'd say the broccoli side's a little overpriced for what it is. Try these uh, jalapenos. These are candied jalapenos. Got an all right flavor. Tastes like a little bit of a sweet and sour jalapeno. And then these pickled onions. These look nicely done. And they have a good flavor too. So I do enjoy these pickled onions. A little sad they didn't have dill pickles. They uh, only have bread and butter pickles, which are too sweet flavored for me. I'm a dill pickle person. So the only suggestion I'd have is add some dill pickles for dill pickle people here. But oh my gosh, this brisket is uh, everything I was hoping for and more. It is so wonderful. It's got a beautiful smoke ring on here. The flavors are amazing. It's cooked perfectly. It's exactly the way I would want it. It is not at all tough and it's not at all too mushy. It's just a perfect texture. It's got exactly the perfect blend of fattiness and leanness that all goes together to make for a wonderfully delicious and tender piece of barbecue brisket. It is uh, one of the best pieces of brisket I have ever had. I'm very, very happy with it. It's uh, a pleasure in each and every bite. Um, there is uh, not a single bite that disappointed me. Every last bite of this has been amazingly perfect. So much flavor. It's just juicy, delicious, and it's just, oh, so many layers of beautiful flavor in it. I'm really impressed. The broccoli is a good palate cleanser here, although on my next visit, I'm probably not going to get a side. I'm kind of sad I didn't get an entire pound of brisket because it was so good. But now we're going to dig into this turkey and see how this is. It really looks amazing, and it also smells fantastic, so I am quite tempted. This is uh, some of the best looking turkey I've ever seen at any barbecue place before. Ooh, hoo, hoo. At every other barbecue restaurant I've ever gotten turkey out in the past, I've been really disappointed with it because it's just been really bland and flavorless. But this has some really good, delicious flavors. So they've done the turkey right here. This is the first time I think I've ever had really flavorful, delicious turkey at a barbecue restaurant. I've had really good whole turkey legs in the past at sporting events and uh, things like Ren Fairs, but even those, as good as they were, did not have as much flavor in them as this fantastic turkey drumette. So I'm a big fan of this thing. This is definitely way more delicious and better tasting than I thought it was going to be. So this is kind of the uh, wild card big surprise of the day. I had way less expectations for this and it really has exceeded all of what I had expected it would be. So they've definitely 
done an amazing job of cooking this turkey. So, uh, usually I would tell people to skip turkey at most places, but this is definitely a worthwhile piece of meat to try if you're ever on a visit here. The meat is really moist and juicy, it's full of good smoky flavors. This mustard sauce really goes exceptionally well with it, and uh, definitely would recommend using that sauce with it. And uh, it's just so wonderfully falling off the bone tender. This is uh, probably the best turkey leg I've ever eaten, and I've eaten quite a lot of them in my time. So this thing is uh, really excellently done. Uh, they are really ranking high in my book of how excellent they cooked all the meat in my experience today. So this has uh, really been a fantastic experience, exceeding all of my hopes and dreams. I thought it was pretty darn sure gonna be delicious and good. I didn't think it was gonna be this amazingly good though in every way so far with their meat. So they're not playing around with the meat here. They know what they're doing and it's been super amazingly flavorful perfectly at the right level of tenderness and juiciness with every bite. I've not had a single piece of tough meat or dry meat, and it's all been excellently prepared in every way for every bite of the meat, which is not easy to do. And so often, you're gonna end up with dry spots and brisket and turkey, and so far, every last bite is just making me so happy with just the perfection of how they prepared it and cooked it and the seasoning on it the smoke flavors are all coming through it is really excellently done food here still got some broccoli to clean up to make sure i get my vegetable serving in so i can uh, get more vitamins to eat even more meat, right? So uh, as long as I get a little vegetable in me, I can eat many more pounds of meat, right? I can go back, order about five more pounds of brisket and keep eating for the rest of the day. Just kidding, I'm getting really full. I'm not gonna be able to eat much more. Although I think I could force down at least a half pound more of the brisket based on the flavor alone. And uh, I'm definitely enjoying the pickled onion. Pickled, uh, Jalapenos are a little more on the sweet side than I would prefer. I like my stuff a little more on the sour tart side, which the onion is definitely giving me some of that. So the uh, jalapenos have less heat, more sweet. I like more heat and a little more uh, tanginess. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, this is just a really nice looking piece of turkey. Looks like it's gonna have a lot of flavor here. And oh yes indeed. So just like I've destroyed this plate of barbecue, destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this wonderful barbecue meal. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because hey, I work for tips and I appreciate any assistance with that. And if you could just share this video with any of your friends or contacts, that really would help me. And thanks so much to everybody at Gonzo Smokehouse and Barbecue for what I would say is the best barbecue in all of Louisiana. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning in to the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. So make sure to tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolagent channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.